Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. Today I wanted to demonstrate a alternative to toilet paper for a bug out bag or for camping purposes or even just uh, for home storage for your home preps. I found this to work very well. I've tested it uh, during the process of a seven day expedition on the West Coast Trail where I was away for, from civilization for seven days. And I hit up a lot of outhouses and a lot of uh, bush, a lot of sticks. And I can tell you that these things work really well for that purpose. And what they are, there's a couple different brands that you can get. Uh, this brand is called Wizzy Wipes. I'm going to zoom in uh, for you. Uh, I believe that these are about 250 for a thing of 12. A little pricey. There are cheaper alternatives that I will discuss. And what you do, you just uh, got their logo on there. All you do, actually, you just add a couple drops of water. And uh, I'll show you dunked first, and then later on I'll show you just with a couple little droplets. You really don't need much. Just drop it in the water, two seconds, not even. And that's more than enough to loosen it up so that it unwinds into a very sizable and relatively strong tissue which can be utilized for well what I would market it as is a great way of uh, hygienically dealing with number twos it's sizable like I said it is relatively tough you know you can't do that with toilet paper or most paper towel course it does rip on me for the demonstration but you know that's still that's tough enough that's all you need it to that's as tough as you need it to be for that short period of time pardon all the women talking in the background I do live in a house full of women so it's just uh, comes with the territory I guess they like to talk uh, so this is a, a really good uh, alternative to toilet paper I found. Now you can get it cheaper. These are called magic towels. I found these at the dollar store. I think I bought a couple packages about a year ago and then I finally tested them out on this trip. I liked them so much I looked all over for them and uh, I found one dollar store that had them in stock and I cleaned them out. I bought about 14 packs. They're a buck each. Works out to about 12 cents a pop. Really one of these is sufficient to get the job done, if you know what I mean. So long as it's not a, you know, so long as you have uh, regular stools, and not to get too graphic, but uh, so long as you're regular and you're not drinking any bad water. You know, I, I did have a few days where I was out in the bush for a few times every day, if you know what I mean. And there were times when I had to use two tablets but usually one, if used properly, is enough to get it done, and you can do it very hygienically. And it's actually a lot more hygienic because of the moisture of the cloth, which is, uh, you know, adds to the uh, cleanly cleaning properties of it. So this one I'm just going to dunk really quick. Doesn't take much at all. If all you had was like a little drop of water, looks like I might need just a little bit more. And that. Uh, so in a situation where you didn't have anything to dunk it in, you could easily just pour some of your water from your water bottle onto it, and that usually works really well too. Now, I don't want to give you any bad graphics or bad visuals or anything like that, but to demonstrate how to use this efficiently for the purpose of those number twos, uh, what I would usually do is I would, you know, uh, fold it like so, do one, you know, fold it like so, do another, and then the final, the grand finale, the, uh, just to make sure that, you know, nice and clean. Usually you'll get three solid wipes out of one thing if you use it effectively. And then, of course, at the end of that, you carry your hand sanitizer on you to kill any possible germs that are around. Now, the great thing about these tablets, both the Wizzies and the Magic Towels, the magic towels are slightly larger in diameter, so they're they kind of stick in here, but you can still get them out. The thing I like about the Wizzies is that they fit perfectly in one of these Coleman 
match containers. These are, I think, two bucks. And you can fit about seven of these in there. The one in the bottom always likes to stick. Actually, there's a couple left in there. If you had to and you had no choice, I assure you, you'd get them out no problem. So, you got your week's worth of toilet paper, waterproofed, very easy to pack, in one little plastic container. Pardon the camera here. This is not exactly a uh, Hollywood setup. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, you have your week's worth of toilet paper, one little convenient package, waterproof, rugged, and uh, you can carry it in your pocket. You know, just in case you don't want to be digging into your bag or something like that. Uh, that's always an option there. And they also make these uh, world famous towels, which are very similar. As you can see, they're, you know, roughly three times bigger than the tablets. These are reusable towels. I wouldn't recommend using these for the purpose of going number two. But uh, they do have a lot of useful functions and they, very, they are very easy to pack. I think they might be a buck each or something like that and it's a worthwhile investment also you know if you uh, I did end up using a couple of them on the trip and they're they're pretty good they're tougher than these you can reuse them and uh, I think there's probably other companies now that are getting into these wipes uh, typically the cheapest I've found them is for about 10 uh, 10 for a dollar and I think if you buy them wholesale you'll you might get a better deal on them and uh, I mean really it, it's when you think about how expensive toilet paper is you know it's about the same price if you're getting seven seven number twos out of this you know I don't know how much probably take a roll of toilet paper anyways is a toilet paper worth a dollar probably not you know so I mean it is a bit more pricey so it's not going to be used for everyday use but for the purpose of capping or uh, putting in a bug out bag or an inch bag or something like that uh, might get you through the first couple weeks of that I'm never coming home phase could be useful towards that end so let me know what you think about this don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know if you have any uh, questions comments concerns and by all means share thanks for watching Canadian Prepper out